Hey guys, this is Dave with Fitness Technology Service again. So today I'm doing another video on how to test for walk belt wear. Um, I have a lot of videos out with the machine running, it's amp testing the unit, uh, really good you should see those videos. But right now I'm going to do a video on how it should work and then I'm going to change this walking belt and I'm going to show you how much more difficult it is with a worn out walk belt. So right now, this is not going to be controlled at all by the treadmill. The treadmill is completely unplugged. I've even unhooked the main wire harness right here. So there's absolutely no input. So what I've done, I've even used a different brand. This is a Nordic track treadmill, obviously. Um, and what I've done is I've figured out which two wires are the positive and negative to this. So this console takes 12 volts DC. So if you trace these wires out, it will go down. It's not going to hook up to the machine at all. I'm just using it to really hold it in place. I'm going to hook it directly to my DC motor. So DC motors work off of every 10 volts DC. It goes approximately one mile an hour. So I'm going to push on this, and this should produce enough voltage to turn this on. Um, I wish I had a way to show you it would dim or get brighter. Uh, I have to try and find some way to get like a, a 12 volt or maybe 48 volt light there where I can show you what 12 volt looks like, what 24 volts looks like, and what 48 volts looks like as far as the light getting brighter. But right now we're just going to show you guys how this motor will operate this console without anything being hooked up to it at all. Alright? So here we go. And this will also show you where on the walk belt because this is going to be pretty easy to do. So I'm going to just lightly push it. So right now I don't have quite enough voltage because everything's dim and shaky. See that? So now as I walk a little faster, see, not quite enough voltage. So it's probably getting 6 volts DC to it now. So that's what would happen at 6 volts. So I'm just going to walk a little faster, which is still basically no effort on me. And it's going to completely brighten up. Alright, so your motor on your treadmill can also be activated like a generator, so to speak. Every one mile an hour, again, it will produce 10 volts DC. Alright, so once I slow up again, loses power. Once I stop, it stops. Alright, so there's your introduction to how a, uh, a DC motor can operate something by itself with no energy from the controller whatsoever. Alright, thanks a lot.